Hi everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to select different elements and how to check properties for that element in Revit. So in last video, I have discussed about how to get help for a command in Revit and its link is given in the description box. So please follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to get all kinds of updates. Also hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated with all new videos. So let's get started. So let me create a wall first. So give wall command and click here. Now click second point here. Again click here. Click here and this is the end point. Now press escape two times to come out of the command. So there are a number of elements here in my window. Now, how can we select these elements? So the first way to select any element is simply click on that element. Now I want to select this wall. So I will click on this wall. So I will click on this wall and this is selected. You can see this. Now we can find out how many elements are selected by going to the property window. So this is the property window and here you can check the number of items that are selected with name of the elements. So you can see here the name and the number of elements that are selected. So it's showing the num name of the element is wall and one wall is selected. Name of the element is wall and one wall is selected right now. Now if you want to select multiple elements then you need to hold the control key. Suppose you want to select multiple elements then you need to hold the control key and as soon as you hold the control key you can see a plus sign in the sight of the cursor. So as soon as uh, I hold the control key you can see here a plus sign is coming in the sight of the cursor. Now take the cursor over to the element which you want to select and click on that, click on again, click on this. Now click on another element, you can click on multiple elements. So here I have selected four walls. So you can see in property window it's showing. Right now there are four walls are selected. Now you can see it. There are four walls are selected right now. Now if you, if you want to select different elements, then same process. Hold the control key and select multiple and different elements as for your requirement. So here I will select this wall, this wall, uh, this window, this window and this door. Now here in property window you can see it's showing common 5. So you need to click on this drop down menu and under this drop down menu you can see a list of elements those are selected. So it's showing here one door, two walls and two windows are selected. You can see here one door, two walls and two windows are selected right now. So again I will hold the control key. I will select different elements again. So I will hold the control key. I will select this window, select this window, select this wall and this wall and this wall and this wall and this two, these two walls. Now here you can see it's showing common 8. Now click on this drop down menu and here you can see Six walls are selected, these four and these two, six walls, two windows, these two windows are selected. So total eight numbers of elements are selected. So there is another way to select different elements and that is drawing a selection box. So draw a selection box by placing the cursor on one side of the element to be selected and dragging it diagonally to form a rectangular boundary. So, 
and while dragging cursor left to right, only those elements will be selected which are completely within the boundary of the selection box. So I'll draw the selection box from here, from here by holding my uh, by holding my left mouse button, and you can see it's touching these walls or elements, but they are not selected until they are totally inside the rectangle. You can see this. They are not selected still now. They are still and they are not selected until they are totally inside the rectangle. So right now there is only one wall is inside the rectangle and I move it to right and you can see all walls, doors, windows means all elements are now inside the rectangle. So you can see on property window uh, uh, click on this drop down menu and under this drop down menu you can see the list of elements which are selected. You can see one door, eight walls and two windows are selected. You can see this. So 11 elements, 11 number of elements are selected right now. Now if you drag the cursor from right to left means uh, I will start from, you uh, see, I will show you. Suppose I am selecting this. So, it's one window is selected. Right now. Uh, now, if you want to drag the cursor from right to left, means I will start from here, here and go to left. Then anything that the selection box touches is going to be selected. I am going to uh, I am going to write by holding the left mouse button and the selection box is just touching this wall and the whole wall is not inside the selection box but still one wall is selected. Also you can see one wall is selected. Also, you can see the shape of the rectangle a little different. If I drag selection box left to right, then selection box is having solid lines. But when I draw right to left, you can see here, when I draw right to left, then it's having dotted lines. So, go to, uh, so right to left, right to left, here. This, you can see here, these four walls are selected because the selection box touched them. So, you can check on property window too. It's showing four walls are selected. You can see here. Now, go to right click. Simply go to right click. And you can see here, select previous option is coming here. And if you click on it, the element which was selected before will be selected again. Click on it. Simply click on the select previous option. You can see it. So, so it's, uh, it's an option to reselect elements which were selected before. If we we'll go to the select panel, you can see and click on the drop down menu and you can see some options are there. If you want to, uh, if you want, you can select links here. Now, uh, select underlay elements. Uh, if you have, check next to that. You can also select pinned elements. You can also select elements by face and you can drag elements on selection. So these are different types of selection, different types of selections that you can have. But right now I am not going to choose any of them. So I will simply use the methods which I have discussed. So I will simply select by creating selection box left to right and right to left and by simply click on the element.
So hope you understand how to select different elements and how to check properties for that element in Revit. So hope you like this video and if you like this video then don't forget to like, share and comment. Thank you for watching.